Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another tutorial of um, how to install GTA mods and stuff like that. So once you get your GTA working, just like I did, if you haven't watched the last episode yet, I don't know. I don't know. What are you waiting, what are you waiting for, man? Anyway, the last episode, I'll show you guys how to install GTA properly, how to get everything going, you know, finding your game. Now, depends on if you're installed on C drive. So what you're going to do is go to C drive. Let's just find a proper folder. Go to C drive. Whatever folder you're installing in. Me, I install it in um where is it again? New games. So when you go to C drive, you find Steam. Steam. After Steam, you go to Steam Apps. Double click on that. After Steam Apps, you go to Common. After that, you should be able to find your GTA. Like you guys can see that I have so many copies of GTA. This is the, the one that I've, I've been recording with lately. Now, this is the one we've been working on. This is a fresh copy of GTA. You guys already seen how we tested everything work out well. Now, the next step is for you guys to see. Let me make sure that I open this little download folder. Like, you know, the, the stuff that we're going to be using. So far, we went to Steam, download um, Steam, then download GTA. Then get GTA working. After that, the next step is um, go to Open IV. Open IV. There you go. Once you get to Open IV, download this little thing over here. This thing usually up update by itself, so you probably won't have to ever come back to this website again because it usually update by itself. Um, let's make sure you know. I, I mean, I have it already. That's why I'm not going to install it now. So once open IVs, um, once you install open IV, I mean, should I even try you? I mean, trying to show you, let's see installation not yet complete. Are you sure? Yes. I have to cancel it because I don't want to install over the last one that I have and, you know, mess up anything. So this is the next website that I need you guys to go to when you're ready to, um, start modding. So this is the next website. This is website number two. All right, after that, all cats is making so much noise upstairs, man. <laughs> all cats is kind of mad at us right now. We was making noise so we can make sure he's not sleeping. I mean, she's not sleeping. All right. So anyway, let's move on. Um, other than that, after open IV, you're going to make sure you open open IV. You see, I already put it. I already pan it down here. So open it. You see, it's going to give you a choice. Open IV. Now, if this is your first time opening it, ah, let me actually go to the step for you guys. Sorry, like I feel like if I don't do it, is it's just gonna feel weird. If that's your first time, if it don't know where your GTA is, you actually have to tell it where your GTA is. You see, accept, click, click on here, accept, and create that sub icon. Yeah, let's run it after this installation. Okay, it's basically checking, but I have all those things already and I have already donated. Um, it's always good to just, you know, do these things because without, without open IV, I won't be nothing right now. So we're just waiting for that to download, even though my internet is supposed to be faster than that. I don't know why it's taking so long. But yeah, once we're done with open IV, uh, your folder should look like this, like check it like if if you have anything else. So while this is downloading, let's go to the next step. You're going to look for a little thing called script hook five. Script hook five. OK, this is the right one. This is the right one right here. Just click on it and you're going to see that it got updated on uh, March 28, 2018. Make sure you download this unless you know how to mod. Okay, if you know how to mod, you should not be here, right? You should not be here. So download this little thing over here and open it up. By the way, I'm using one when I L. you might be using a different software. Just make sure you open you are able to open that folder or whatever the case is. Let's find that again. All right. So while I'm waiting for open IV to finish install, I'm going to keep doing more stuff. All right. So the next one, uh, let's make sure we copy this website. So you guys can make sure I mean, so I can make sure you guys have it. 
under this video description. That's the next website you need to go to. So you don't have to, you know, look for it just like I am right now. All right. So the next things you the next thing you have to download is called script. Let me see. Do I have it? No. Script hook um dot net. There you go. I have it right here. Script hook dot net. So you go right over here. Now GTA five my is gonna refer you to another website. There you go. And then you can actually download the latest version of scripthook.net. This will help with like most of the um, mods that require so much more. Like there's there's a lot of things that this scripthook.net could do for you. Now just make sure you download this one. You see, we're downloading everything as we go. We're just preparing to start modding right now. Because once you get these things going, then you can actually decide which way you want to go. Do you want to install a vehicle? Do you want to do this? Do you, do you want to do that? You see why this thing is still going? You see my internet is slow today. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So we got scripthook.net. So I want to make sure that I install this first. Once I'm done installing this, we're going to create a mod folder. What is a mod folder? What happened is. You don't want to mess up your GTA in case Rockstar is sending out an update or whatever the case is. So the mod folder will save your modified files. But by having those modified files, um, you're able to mod the game, you know, do all those things and also be protected from when Rockstar sent out an update. When Rockstar sent out an update is always good. Now, OpenIV is going to protect you to have the, um, the um, GTA 5 EXE and the launcher. What happened is this software over here will help you um, back up those things so you could revert it back in case now in case script hook is not updated or script hook dot net. You know, we seem like whenever they send out an update, we have to wait. We have to do this. We have to do that. All right. So the, since this is done, we can actually close this now. OK, you see now it already found my GTA. That's why I'm like, I won't have to do that. But um. If it ain't know where my G oh, there you go, there you go. Since it don't know where my GTA is, I have to find my GTA for this um software. So browse, and depends on wherever your GTA. You could put your GTA anywhere you want. Me, I just happen to put it in my um K drive. Copy that, paste it on here, and then press enter. You see, it found my GTA. Now I'm gonna say select this folder. You see. It actually tell which version of GTA that I'm running right now, and then just go to continue. And don't forget, don't forget to back up your file before editing. Of course, that's what we're gonna make sure we do also. And there you go. It's opening my GTA now. It's um. There's a couple of stuff that we have to do after open um open IV. So let's keep going. I feel like this tutorial is gonna take forever. I I feel like I'm one of those people that will explain everything to you. Why are we doing this? and why these things exist. Um, all right, so I want to make sure like every time I'm adding a file, you're going to see something appear on this folder. Now you're going to go to tools, tools, ASI manager. See that now this thing is selling you. You don't have an ASI loader. You don't have the open IV ASI and you don't, you don't have the open camera. It's good to install these things because they help your GTA, of course. Um, I mean, they did say it over here. You need to install this ASI loader and open IV plugin uh, for your GTA. Otherwise, your game would not load modify RPF because this is what we're going to do. We're going to modify the hell out of the game by modify RPF, meaning this is the folder to add cars. This is the folder to add wheels, you know, never, whatever the case is. Anyway, we'll go to that step after. But right now it's time to install these things. Install. You're going to see them appear on this in this folder. You see. Uh, we're going to install this. You're going to see them um, create a mod folder. You see, this is when it give you the option. You need to create a mod folder unless you want to take the risk because I used to take that risk a while back and I pay for that so many times. Now I just go with the modded folder. Um, allow edit mode only for archive and mod. Hell yeah. So I check both of them. Yes. So right now it's creating a mod folder for us. You see this mod folder right here. And install, yeah, camera. Sometimes I don't install this, but hey, make it easier for you. So after that, even though they create a mod folder for you, there's a couple things you're gonna need to do yourself. All right, so we're done with this. We're done with this. 
Um, I always put it on edit mode. So by to keep it on edit mode, so just go to option, which helped me. A, it, it helped me out a lot. Not read only. Just switch it to edit. And I think that's about it. Always open option after rebuild. Minimize clear. Uh, yeah, everything else look good. So what happened is it's going to keep this on edit mode at all time. We won't have to. You see, once you have edit mode, you're able to add stuff, edit stuff without no problem. So the first thing we need to do, I could just exit this. I could reopen it right here. The first thing we need to do, um, you're going to make sure that you have those files that you're going to be able to edit later. So you're going to take this and this. Now you can hold control so you copy so you could actually get everything. Hold control so you could get all these files. So you, you see, it's update x64 controls, and you're gonna take from A to what is it? A to W. You're gonna drag all these files into the mod folder. Oh, I actually did it. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I did it wrong. So do control Z. My bad, my bad, my bad. You actually not drag these files, but copy. Oh my God, I was about to make you guys do the wrong thing. Copy all these files and paste it inside the mod folder. I totally forgot that it moved it. So paste it into the mod folder. This is going to take a while to. This is going to take a while to do right now. It's going to take take me about six minutes. Okay, that's good. And uh, with six minutes, I could just try to explain some stuff to you guys. All right, so what I just did earlier, do not just drag it in, please, please take it back. You see, I'm I haven't done a tutorial in so long that you see everything is still new to me. But um, after you do that, right, you're gonna get the mod folder working. Um, so far, what folder did we get? We got the script hook file folder. So let's do this. While we're waiting for this to install, we're gonna go into this bin. Uh, you're going to take the D input, drag it on here. I wanted to replace the the one that um, let me see what the input what, what was the last time they, they update this 422 and skip this file. What was the last time, last time they update? Okay, you know what? Don't take the D input. Okay, don't take the D input in the native trainer. Just take the script hook five and install it in here. That's it. Just take that from there. That's it. I'm going to show you another native trainer, simple native trainer where you can install it because that's what I've been using for a while. And I think you guys will definitely enjoy that too. Um, you're going to go to the next folder, which is uh, scripthook.net. You're going to take all three of these files and put it right in here. You see, this is it. This is the beginning of modding. This is just making your folder be. Why did this say this thing say 55 minutes? That's kind of crazy. Why is it taking forever? I feel like it's going to take forever, though. All right. So we could close these folders. Um, did we give you guys the link for the scripthook.net? All right. Let me just make sure I give you guys the exact link for the scripthook.net. All right. So we're going to put these things up there. So while we got to wait for 55 minutes, which I don't even think that's true right now, is that 21%? It's just loading because this certain files, this certain RPF file, it thinks that that's going to take forever. But if it does take 55 minutes, I'll just try. Oh, you see, it switched to six minutes. My computer be chirping sometimes. All right. So why are we doing that? Right. This this mod costs. Um, what is it? Sample native trainer. You see GTA five. They always update this file. So no matter what, there's always look at that over two million download. Now, I I love using this file. I mean, I love using this um what you call it software, whatever you guys I want to call it trainer, whatever you guys want to call it. This is one of my favorite. I've been using this since GTA 4. This is why I would suggest if you guys are looking for a trainer, this is one of the best trainers out there. Just unzip it. Okay, after you unzip it, close that. Let's get down there. You see this thing is going to take another 5 minutes. Even though it's say a 55 minute a second ago, you're gonna take these two files only, these two files, and drag it right in here. All right, so we got the trainers going. This is the trainer I'm gonna be using for everything. This is one of the latest version. After the trainer, um, even though I feel like I'm moving fast, right? This thing say 22 minute now. I'm done with you. 
All right, so um, let's go back again. So for the trainer, let me make sure you guys have the correct. All right, copy. That's the trainer. We're going to leave this right in here. Now, if you're looking for a fast way or fast tutorial, not explaining to you what this does, like what, what, how this work, this is not the place for you. You could just skip. There's many, there's a lot of people that did tutorial already. I like to explain the things to you guys, just making sure that you guys understand how I work and stuff like that. That trainer it'll allow you to change the weather, it'll allow you to change. This is the trainer we just um, installed right now. It'll allow you to change the weather, your clothes. I mean, everything. This is my first trainer, even though. I still use other trainers with it. What happened is with other trainers, you don't have problem using that. Um, next thing, guys, next thing that I like to use, which um, is, is an ENB. I like to use Visual 5. I like to use Visual 5. So let's just say Visual 5 GTA 5. This is it right here. So I'm guessing this is an update version because they've been updating this thing for the longest. Okay, this was released March 21st, 2018. So this is one of my favorite um, ENB. Of course, we're gonna download this. I usually like to download from the original ENB website first though. I think they actually told, they actually tell you where to download it from too. You see, they show you all the steps, um, previous Visual file available. Um, damn. Where's the ENB? All right, so um, damn, because they usually just give you a settings for the ENB, not the actual ENB. So let's get, let's just look up GTA Five ENB. So it should bring you to the original. Okay, ENB Dev. So this is where you would download like the the actual the the main ENB for GTA Five. Let me see. It gives you everything. Damn. All right, where's the actual GTA 5 version though? Hold on, guys. I feel like I haven't done this in so long. All right, so you go, you find GTA 5. Uh, version 2.7 is the first release of the game. Limited function, mostly for testing. Uh, all right, so I'm not going to download the first version. So we're going to download the latest. All right, which is 75. All right, so that's the two things you need. Wow, this thing is still downloading. All right, so let's do this. And let's find the EMB. Yeah, while this thing is still downloading. Oh my God, this thing felt like it's gonna take forever. So you guys got all the website. Let's make sure we add this to the list. We got the sample native trainer. I'm gonna make sure to add the ENB version to all this too. This is the this is Visual Five. This is what I use all the time. I always like to get the new ENB first and then just apply the settings from Visual Five to it. Hey, it's one minute and forty five seconds left. <laughs> Even though I've been waiting forever for this thing. All right, so not Visual Five first. What I like to install first is the ENB. So what happened is you're going to take those and just drag it in there. What happened is the um, Visual 5 just give you some new settings for those because you need the D3, D11 and the D3 compiler um, 46E. So you drag those up in here. OK, so you all set. you see how how much modification I'm doing right now? Remember how the game looked from the last video? It's going to look completely different now. All right, and then you close this. Now, when we install it, you know what? I'll, I'll wait to that step. OK, so we done. We done with this. I already gave you the link for that. Now we're going to go into this right here. I'm still waiting on the modify folder folder so we could do the changes because we're not going to modify any original folders. Because what we want, we want the outside to stay clean. While when we go in the mod folder, we gonna just turn everything upside down in this folder over here. But right now, in the meantime, why everything is oh 30 seconds left. So this is what we're gonna use. Um, mod package. You see this? 
Sorry, I'm waiting for my 40 seconds. Oh, it said 30 seconds a second ago, but hey, it is what it is. I'm just waiting for that to be done, and then we can actually um, change um, visual, visual five. If you are new to this, um, be patient because certain things, if something went wrong, just go back into this or even send me a question like, how did you get to this step or that step? Or even if I skip a step because, you know, I'm doing this after I've done this for so many years already. All right. So you see now that I'm done with the mod folder, go inside this mod folder. What happened is this might just show your unzip folder. So right click on it and you could go with open with open IV. Now, if open IV is not on your list set, just choose another application. And you see, you could see open IV on your list. Now, if open IV is still not on your list, just go to more apps and you should see open IV on your list. If not, you can actually look up another app on this PC and find exactly where open IV is. So let's just, if that's the, if that's the case, just know where open IV is and just put the link in there. Um, so we're just going to click on this and press OK. You see, now we're opening this with Open IV. We're using Open IV to do this, and it's gonna ask us to install. You know, Visual Five is a graphic. You know, you guys do the rest. I've done this so many times already. So you're gonna install. Click install. Do not install in the game folder. You do this at your own risk. Install in the mod folder. This is the modify folder we're gonna use. Remember, we're not doing. We're not messing with the original GTA Five at all. We're messing with the mod folder. So click on this. And it's gonna start doing its work. There you go. It's installing Visual 5 right now. Should take a couple of seconds to a minute. Oh, seconds. And if you um, you know techie just want to see what what was the changes about, you can actually go on this list. You see, this is everything that it changed. This is what it did. It replaced most of the RPF file, you know, just add some more quality to the game. So let's close that. And once we're done with that, we, we are done with this. But there are some more additional stuff you need to install for yourself if you want your game to look like mine. I mean, I already told you guys, all I use is Open IV. Now, that was for the to install the files manually, is it? Yeah, that's, that is if you want to install the file manually. I, I feel like this is the fastest way. Now, this is optional. And if you decide to change your mind, you know, the original files can always, always be found right here. Oh, they actually have uh, ones you can install too. All right, so advanced um advanced motion blur. I don't use that, so I'm not gonna put that in. Dynamic sh shadow from pedestrian vehicles. I don't really use that. I feel like that usually takes some memory. Earth atmosphere. I don't use that either. My ENB settings now. I use that. So we're gonna go back to the main folder. Those you can actually install in the main folder. So what you're gonna do is this is just changing your original ENB that you put in there, and this ENB folder that have to do with Visual Five, with the additional weather that it's adding. So take this, drag it right in here, replace. Yes, it's gonna replace the three ENB files on the main folder. Replace that, and just make sure. I mean, I might not be saying where I'm dropping. I'm dropping it in the directory of GTA five, you see, and this is what it will look like. If your folder don't look like this by now, go back and see what you skip <laughs> because everything that we add in this folder, we add them step by step from the trainer, everything. Just go back and see what you skip. All right. Now that we're done with this, go back again. Uh, grass improvement. This is one of the best for me. So I hate when I see the grass and it's just look choppy and stuff like that. So I always use this. We're going to install that the same way. Open it with open IV. If you haven't set that up yet. And install mod folder. Just wait for it. Wait for it. it should take seconds. So I'm surprised it's taking longer than usual. OK, that's done. Just close that. I mean, if you want to look at the log, you know, this is what it changed for the grass. And close that. Now go back again. We use we are in that same folder. That for the shadow again. I like that. So I usually install it. This is how my game looks so much better. And that's how I'm able to, you know, turn off certain settings because this um ENB already does all the improvement for me. So 
Make make my job easier, of course. Okay, so we're done with this. And I think this is gonna be it for ENB. Um reshade preset, just like they say, performance loss. And I don't want that, because I mean if you want your game to look perfect with the proper reshade, go for it. But I wouldn't suggest that one only because I mean I don't even use it either because I'm running on two 1080 Ti's. It still kill my PC because I will have to lower my settings to a point where I can actually use it. So I don't use it. And this is it. This is all. If you change your mind, always remember you can always go back over here and put your GTA back to normal, or you could just delete the mod folder. Hey, it happens. Um, or if you messed up on something. All right, so we exit this and we are ready. This is the things that I'm doing for this tutorial. I don't even know how long this tutorial is so far, but this is the things um, for the first tutorial. You learn how to install GTA. You just learn how to op um, install open IV. You um, install script hook. You install scripthook.net. You just install simple native trainer. I'm going to show you some settings for simple native trainer so you don't have no issue with it. Um, you just install visual five. So it could be easy. Um, so your game could look perfect, not perfect, but you know, good. And uh, this is the um, this is actually the first step before Visual Five. So let's cut this, and let's put Visual Five down here, and let's put this because you need to install the um, ENB first, and then you could apply Visual Five settings to it. All right, so these were the only steps that I just show you guys how to do in this video right now. So let's go test out the game. Let's get um let's start this thing. Wait, I didn't even this oh my god, I didn't even I didn't even start this. Alright, so we start in Steam right now. Did I I didn't allow Steam to start by itself? I don't even know. I gotta change those settings too. So we just um we just did all all of our installation and we're gonna start the game and see how the game look. And I'm gonna show you guys how simple native trainer look and all that stuff. So far, let's wait. Okay, so you're gonna exit this. Let's go to the library. Yes, I only have like one cent left. <laughs> I've been using so many things on this. And let's click play and play. Let's see how this thing's gonna work out. If it does work out, meaning we did a good job on installing these mods so far. Not really mods. What happened is we're preparing the game so we could be able to install mods. So those are the steps. Let's see. Let's just wait for it. OK, as you can see, the ENB was successfully installed because we could see that is the version that we installed, which is 0275 for GTA 5 ENBs. And no more hiccups yet. <laughs> so it's looking good. It's looking good. Sometimes there's certain things that cr that crash. You know, it's GTA. It's GTA. It's GTA. And of course, add me, Steve the gamer. Of course. All right. So let's start. Um, let's start with story mode. And please do not do this for online. Please, I am not giving you this tutorial for you to do this online. This is only for um single player. Single player mod, not for online. If you decide to go online, you will get banned. <laughs> as soon as Rockstar find out that you're using this online, you will get banned, by the way. And I can't wait to actually go to Rockstar again, man. Rockstar showed me so much love. Appreciate it. And yeah. And also, you so many of you guys been asking me for this a step by step. Hopefully, I'm showing you the right way. If you feel like you miss a step, you see how the game look. Now you see how the game look, right, guys? You see how the game look? I'm still running at 60 FPS down there. That's what I'm talking about. The game looks so. I mean, the game look like mine. This is the settings that I use for my game. We still haven't added no cars yet. We still haven't added anything yet. I like to do those steps because that's the proper way um, of doing this. And if you decide to go any other way, I mean, it's 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 your way, man. It's your way. Now we're gonna press F3 so we could get this menu going. F3. You see that? Once you get that going, you're going to use the numeric pad for you to be able to um, 
go go up and down and if you haven't look look up everything for sample native trainer just look it up on the readme file so it's two to go down um six to go to the right four to go to the left and five to select and eight to go up okay so this is what i'm using right now all right so we're gonna go to options options first thing i would like for you to guys for you guys to do go on the second page by pressing six it will say like option menu two and disable key bindings yes unless you know some stuff that you usually do and another thing that i usually remove is controller support because i don't want i usually don't want that and then once you're done with that um some stuff that i set up myself is set menu color we're gonna set that right here right now I usually go for red or brown or something like that. Indian red. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's see if we got anything else. Brown. Yeah, brown actually look better. All right. And then just exit to exit to go back to the last page just by pressing zero. If you're just looking for, you know, not to read no readme file or anything like that, just, you know, watching this tutorial and just going accordingly. And then um, I think you all set. Don't change anything else because those things you could play around as you go, just like the weather. You know, you could change it to um, you could change it to Christmas. I mean, light snow, thunder, rain, whatever you like, clear, foggy. You know, this is those things that I just show you guys how to install extra sunny. Now, before you exit this, go to option. Go to the second page and right here, you see right here under reveal full map, save settings to the trainer. So you won't have to do that every time you restart the game. So save and press five to confirm. You see, press five to confirm. Okay, now that we have confirmed that, I'm not sure if the video is going to be off a little bit. We'll see because since it's confirming it, it stopped everything. So you are all set. You could do whatever you want. You could do whatever you want as far as, let's say, vehicle. Um, I don't know. I usually go for supercars. I don't know why. I always go for supercars first. Supercars. Oh, let's bring this car over here. This is the car that we it used to be so hard to get. Yeah, just spawn this, drive it around, see how the game look. The game looked freaking good, of course. This is after you install the EMBs and you're all set. You're all ready to go. This is just preparing for the installation of all those extra mod that we're about to install right now. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are all going to enjoy this. I mean, this is it. You successfully install the game, um, install um, most of the mods that's preparing you to install like all the extra stuff that you're about to install after this. And I think we're ready, man. I think we're ready. Just remember, um, so far what we did is only these things on the list and we still got a long way to go. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.